Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreign Farming in the Philippines. We haven't mounted it permanently yet, but just to save Jason a little bit of labor from bailing this boat out, we use the pump. Let me see how that how much that's pumping, Tata. I let everyone see. <laughs> so you can see that's a pretty good little pump. I mean, it's it's I don't know if it's 500 gallons per hour like it says on it, but it's pumping a lot of water. And it'll pump this out just lickety split. So we're gonna put a switch on it, get it all mounted. Works better if it's flat. There you go. Very easy. See, I'm trying to look out for you, Gabriel. I'm trying to take care of you. You make it very hard. Now for those of you who are going to be asking and leaving comments of why we didn't get an automatic one, I tried to order the automatic the ones that have an automatic float switch. They were only like 400 pesos more. But the three sellers that we tried to order from all canceled within 24 hours. So that's why we got this one. So this is going to be a, a switch. And there's also, you know, I was, I was myself, I was kind of on the fence about having an automatic one. I was worried that if it came on and the battery was low, that we could burn it up. So because they canceled and um, I wasn't real positive about it anyway, that's why we ended up with this one. You can easily see if this one's pumping or not. That's enough. Let me get in the back, Gabriel. Oh, wait. All right, well, we haven't got the switch locked into place yet, but that's where the battery's gonna go, back up in there. And Tata's gonna secure this switch somewhere. I think it'll get wet there, Tata. Yeah. Yeah, hide it under there somewhere out of the rain. Anyway. There it is, pumping. And then Tata has the pump itself secured right there. It works good. I just don't know how long that little, because all that is a little motorcycle battery. I don't know how long that will run that pump before it runs the battery dead. How long would you estimate, Tatai? Four hours? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know either. Because the motor is the have uh, alternator. So I can't, I can't even give Gabriel a suggestion as to how often he should change out the battery. I guess when it gets so dead it won't pump anymore, I guess. Yeah. 
pumping good. Yeah. Oh, you put the switch there? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And it works. Show Gabriel, show Jason. Show them your expert handiwork, Tata. Come on. Come get your instruction, Gabriel. No absent today. You can hook it. Gabriel. You can hook it to that to the battery that's there. You don't have to remove that battery. I'll show you how. All right, so Gabriel, I'm going to shut this off so I can use both hands and I don't end up dumping myself in the water. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bring that small battery in here, but it's very easy. Uh, we've got a negative coming off of this. The small inverter that we had out here, the story that we got from Gabriel is that it had a gecko in it, and the gecko eggs shorted it out. <laughs> I, I believe him. He, he brought the gecko and the eggs, so um, I guess that little inverter from being in storage had uh, a gecko in it. So anyway, that little inverter is toast, but these are the connections for it, and they're, and they're connected directly to a cable. So all Gabriel has to do is bring that battery in from the boat, hook it direct to this battery, and it'll charge it in a couple hours. Uh, the voltage will equalize and it'll, it'll charge in just a couple hours. Might have to do that once or twice a week. But that's how we're going to do that until we can get a solar panel for the boss lady. We'd probably need, I don't know, 30 watt, 20 watt, something like that. Not a big one. Uh, basically just a maintenance float charger probably uh, which we will get at some point thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe